Yo guys, what is going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the Crabber Sniper Rifle. That is right, the Sniper Rifle. Now guys, the Sniper Rifles were not that good in Titanfall 1. And actually, I probably didn't use any in all of Titanfall's life cycle. And that was mainly because it just felt really unnatural for a Sniper Rifle. But the sniper rifle today I'm going to be reviewing, I'm going to be testing it out in combat while being somewhat active but still playing slow. So this sniper rifle I really don't like because there's actually only four rounds in one magazine. But one thing I do like is it's a decent rate of fire. The scope is automatically centered. Um, it is just, there's like no sway. And if you actually aim down sights, there's no holding your breath. You literally just lock. And you'll see from a shot here, it will sway the scope a little. And that just locks in place. It's great. And it's going to be just some great pinpoint accuracy when in-game playing really slow. Now, obviously, the movement is pretty fast in this game. So, I guess it kind of compensates for itself. But, um, you know, you can get off some shots pretty accurately. Um, also known as quick scoping. Um, but we're Titanfall players. We don't say that. But, um... You know, I'm really liking the sniper rifles in this game. I've only seen one, obviously, but this sniper rifle, besides the four-round clip, I do like. I like how the scope isn't huge, and it still feels really, really zoomed in. Um, you know, you usually have insane sniper scopes. We're going to take this on the gauntlet, and we're going to test it out. Now, keep in mind, during the gauntlet, I am going to be using the pistol and grenades a little bit because, obviously, it only has four rounds. We're not necessarily going for a super fast time. We're going for a very efficient time. So, I'm going to try some wall stuff, see if we can pick off some. Um, and, obviously, we didn't. I think we just fell off. We got lucky there. So, we're just going to see how it kind of feels. Um, you know, the bolt pull, a little slow. But, um, I actually want to try and see if you can hip fire... Okay, it did not, you can, but, um, it just, it really, see, like, these close quarters, you can't really get around for the sniper rifle. It's just not meant for this, but I bet on some of the open maps. Let's see if it actually does, uh, does, okay. So, we got collaterals going on. That's always good. Um, so, the sniper rifle, I mean, okay, I missed that. So, we're gonna take him out. It does seem like uh, this is going to be really a kind of support class. I think I might... No, we didn't. Um, but I feel like this is more of a support kind of role. How did that miss? I feel like this gun is really good just to support your team. To take out grunts and the specters. I mean, let's be honest here. Not the best time, but you do have a sniper rifle. I mean, you're not supposed to be playing super fast anyway. So... It kind of is a trade-off when you're playing a lot faster with, you know, the submachine guns, assault rifles. You're going to be getting a lot more kills, but this is a lot more supportive for your team. Uh, sort of like an LMG roll. Just a lot more accurate and uh, not as much suppressing fire. So, the sniper rifle overall, I mean, I'm not too comfortable with it, but I am a really aggressive player. So, obviously, that would make sense. If you are a sniper, though... Then it would work out really well for you. I would definitely recommend it. Try it out. See how you like your gameplay with it. I think it's definitely an option. But it's probably one I wouldn't choose over the um, 201 or the car. So that's my personal review. Check it out for yourself in the training section. Or when the multiplayer testing goes live. Because that is it for the video today. Subscribe if you want some more Titanfall 2 stuff. Going to be having a lot of content coming out today, tomorrow, and then in a couple weeks. And then on October, at the end of that, when uh, you know it starts to come out. I think it comes out on the 28th. So, it's going to be awesome. Stick around for it. But guys, if you did enjoy the video today, leave a like. It helps me out a bunch. Subscribe if you are new. And check out my sponsors in the description below. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm out.